Psalm 9412 Baruch is the man you discipline, O Yah, and instruct out of your Torah. Reading from the Hallelujah Scriptures, Romeyim, Romans 8. There is then now no condemnation to those who are in Mashiach, Yeshua, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Ruach. For the Torah of the Ruach of the High in Hamashiach Yeshua has freed me from the law of sin and of death. For the Torah being powerless, in that it was weak through the flesh, Yahweh having his own bane in the likeness of flesh of sin and concerning sin, contend sin in the flesh so that the righteousness of the Torah should be completed in us, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Ruach. For those who live according to the flesh, put their minds on that of the flesh, but those according to the Ruach, that of the Ruach. For the mind of the flesh is death, but the mind of the Ruach is high and peace, because the mind of the flesh is enmity towards Elohim, for it does not subject itself to the Torah of Yahweh, neither indeed is it able. And those who are in the flesh are unable to please Elohim, but you are not in the flesh, but in the Ruach, if indeed the Ruach of Elohim dwells in you. And if anyone does not have the Ruach of Hamashiach, this one is not his. And if Hamashiach is in you, the body is truly dead on account of sin, but the Ruach is high on account of righteousness. And if the Ruach of him who raised Yeshua from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Hamashiach from the dead shall also give high to your mortal bodies through his Ruach dwelling in you. So then, brothers, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you are going to die. But if by the Ruach you put to death the deeds of the body, you shall live. For as many as are led by the Ruach of Elohim, these are sons of Elohim. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear but you received the Ruach of adoption as sons by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Ruach himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of Elohim. And if children also heirs, truly heirs of Elohim and co-heirs with Hamashiach, if indeed we suffer with him, in order that we also be exalted together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the esteem that is to be revealed in us. For the intense longing of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of Elohim for the creation was subjected to futility, not from choice, but because of him who subjected it in anticipation, that the creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage to corruption into the esteemed freedom of the children of Elohim. For we know 
that all the creation groans together and suffers the pains of childbirth together until now. And not only so, but even we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Ruach, we ourselves also groan within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption as sons, the redemption of our body. For in this expectation we were saved, but expectation that is seen is not expectation, for when anyone sees, does he expect it? And if we expect what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with endurance. And in the same way, the Ruach helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray, but the Ruach himself pleads our case for us with groanings unutterable. And he who searches the hearts knows the mind of the Ruach, what the mind of the Ruach is, because he makes intercession for the Kodashim according to Elohim. And we know that all works together for good to those who love Elohim, to those who are called according to purpose because those whom he knew beforehand, he also ordained beforehand to be conformed to the likeness of his bane, that he became become the firstborn among many brothers, and whom he ordained beforehand, these he also called, and whom he called these he also declared right, and whom he declared right, these he also esteemed. What then shall we say to this? If Elohim is for us, who is against us? Truly, he who did not spare his own bane, but delivered him up on behalf of us all, how shall he not, along with him, freely give us all else? Who shall bring any charge against Elohim's chosen ones? It is Elohim who is declaring right. Who is he who is condemning? It is Hamashiach who died, and furthermore is also raised up who is also at the right hand of Yahweh, who also makes intercession for us, who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach, who shall pressure or distress or persecution or scarcity of food or nakedness or danger or sword, as it has been written for your sake, we are killed all day long, we are reckoned as sheep of slaughter, but in all this we are more than overcomers through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor messengers nor principalities, nor powers, neither present nor the future, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Mashiach, Yeshua, our Adon.